Greetings from the ThemeRex team. Today we will customize our website header with Elementor page builder. We will find out how it works and try adding some new elements to both desktop and mobile versions. I will use query theme as an example. On your top bar navigate edit with Elementor header. In our case it's a pre-made header simple. We have two headers built in two sections one under another one for large displays and one for mobile devices. If we click on the first section, we can go to the advanced settings and choose responsive. We will see that the section is displayed for large screens, desktops and laptops, and it is hidden for tablets and phones. And if we click on the second section and check the responsive settings, we will find out that it has the opposite situation. It is hidden for large displays and it appears only on tablets and phones, so it's our mobile header. Let's go back to our main header. On the right side we have a navigator. The header is built with two columns, left and right. In the first column we have our logo and our menu. If we click on the logo widget, we can check its settings and choose another image. And the same with the menu. When we click on it, we can choose different display settings of our menu. And in the second column we have four elements a pop-up panel, shopping cart, search and clickable icon. Now let's go ahead and add some elements to our header. You can choose any element from Elementor's panel – sections, columns, text, buttons, icons, etc. I will add a clickable phone number by using the icon text widget. I just need to add a text, which is my phone number. Then I'll copy the phone number and add a telephone link to make my text clickable. And finally, I will add the phone icon. OK, it looks good and the link works fine. Next, I want to add my social links. In the search field, type in social. We have several options here. I will use one of them. We can change the social media links in our theme panel settings. Also, quite a popular element in a header is a button. In the search field, type in button. Again, we have several options. Let's use just one of them. I will change the text to contact. Here we have different design settings and also we can provide a link for this button. If you want to rearrange your header elements, you can easily do that by dragging and dropping them. The easiest way is to do it in Navigator. It's pretty simple and you can see the changes right away. Let's save the changes by clicking on the Update button. And let's return to our website to see what we got. OK, all the new elements are there. Our header is not sticky when we scroll down though. Let's make it sticky on the top of our page. Go back to Elementor, click on the header section, navigate Layout, Custom Layout and choose Fix Always. Then click Update and go back to our site. Let's refresh the page and scroll down. As we can see, the header sticks to the top for some time and then disappears. It appears again when we scroll up. That's quite a popular solution today, but if you want it to be always displayed, go to your dashboard, Theme Panel, Theme Racks Add-ons. In General Settings, disable the Height Fixed Rows option. Save the changes and return to our website. I'll refresh the page and we can see the header is always sticks now. We can do similar customizations with our mobile header.
we can see that it has two columns. I will add a phone widget to the first column. I will simply duplicate the one I have in the main header, drag it to my mobile header and put it right after the logo. Save the changes and go back to our website. Refresh the page and open the inspection responsive mode. We can see that the main header is hidden and the mobile header with the phone widget is displayed. If you tap on the phone icon, your phone will dial the number. Hope this video was helpful. Please subscribe for more useful tutorials.